so I'm coming to you live from last Friday at our beach condo before we moved to California. So this is my last Friday at our beach condo in North Carolina. And this is my last wine tasting from here. Maybe until next summer, because next summer we'll come back. But and I'm all alone. I don't have my sidekicks with me. Hey, Blair. I don't have my sidekicks with me who come to me with the pool and their kids and their madness. I don't have my other friends here here to have fun in my condo with me. Um, but you're just going to have to deal with me. And please don't make me do this alone because it'll be very, very sad if I have to do this all by myself, my last wine tasting in North Carolina. So tonight we're doing s'mores. And it is hotter than you know what outside. We've been dealing with this whole like heat wave thing, right? And don't mind me like trying to serve my kids dinner. We're dealing with the whole heat wave thing, right? And it's been so flipping out. I got your dinner right here. And um, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be outside roasting marshmallows. No one's gonna be roasting marshmallows. But like the United States is under like, it's been under heat advisory for like a week. It's finally cooling down. So um, yeah, I will be microwaving my s'mores. It kind of brings you back to your college days, right? Yeah, do you remember that when you would yeah. microwave your, 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 okay, thanks for the salad. Do you remember when you used to like microwave your s'mores? Like you would basically like take the graham cracker with the chocolate and put the mar marshmallow on top of it and then pop in the microwave for a few seconds and then top it. Well, that's what, what that's what we're going to be doing. But like I had to put my kids from summer camp and they're starving. So I am trying to throw some pizza at them so they leave me alone for, you know, 0.2 seconds. So don't mind me as I'm standing over here cutting my pizza. We'll be cutting, I'll, I'll, I'll turn you around. Okay, so I'm cutting the pizza for the kids. And I know they're gonna complain because there's meat on the pizza. Do you guys, when you serve your kids pizza, do they like, will they eat like pepperoni or will they eat sausage? Or are they just like, oh no, it's gotta be cheese, it's gotta be cheese, blah, 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 blah. Well, sometimes my kids will eat meat, but they kind of whine and wince. And other times they <laughs> not, and they'll be mean. Oh goodness, I hear screaming and crying. Why are we screaming and crying? I'm do the now. I don't know why they're screaming and crying. Blair, talk to me. What you up to? What are you doing? Mine keep falling down. Oh, help her. <laughs> okay, so, yes. Now my son on the other hand, he'll go a little more exotic. He will like, he would, if he would eat an entire like can of black olives. No, I don't eat any Like, forget the pizza, he just wants the black olives. So here we go, you guys, pizza. You got everything you need. Mommy, I'm okay, what? enough, enough, seriously. You people are annoying. Stop it, I love you, eat. Why is there me on the pizza? Why is there me on the pizza? Told you he would be. So Blair, is this you or is this your husband doing his thing again? Where he like, I think it's you, it's really not you, it's your husband. So let's just take a look, see in my situation. Kids are eating dinner with their tablets. My poor dog over here no. had a really bad ant bite on her paw and she's wearing the biggest cone of shame I have ever seen. It's so big that I had to like double it over. No, you can give it to your brother. Um, and yeah, and it has been like cluster for the last month or so. And I don't know if you guys saw my post, I put a post out there, um, I put a blog post out on my blog, hmmhotmessmama.com. And I posted on social media that like, I was in my gym with my trainer and I was like, I don't understand. Like, I am so tired for no reason. And I'm so weak and there's all these weird things going on in my body and like all my life has just been so crazy. She's like, well, yeah. She's like, Mercury. I'm like, Mercury? She's like, Mercury is retrograde. I'm like, is that a thing? She's like, oh yeah. I mean, it's I mean, celestially. Yeah, that's a thing. And like, it, you know, and I was like, well, I'm not one of those people that like believes in like the moon having superpowers, but like I do know freaky stuff happens on that's legit like even the people that work the ERs in the hospitals will tell you that or like you know crazier things have happened during like full moons and blue moons and harvest moons and weird celestial things happening but apparently Mercury is in retrograde this month almost the three weeks the entire month of July so weird stuff happens and they tell you that like it can be really really bad <laughs> so I'm chalking all of my craziness up to Mercury being in retrograde what crazy stuff happened to you this month like I can tell you like I, went to, I can't tell you how many times I went to emergency care, like urgent care with my kids, from everything from like, am I in like emergency vet care, for everything from like fire ant bites to strep to like stomach flu with my kids throwing up and me throwing up to like <gasps> my car having to have major Death? repairs done on it, like 
all sorts of stuff like going on in my condo that needs to be repaired, the weather being really wiggy. I mean, just, just on and on and on and on. All these like weird random things that have been happening and they just don't stop. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. So what weird things were happening to you this month? Now, granted, Mercury will go out of retrograde on July 31st. So as of August 1st, we should be in the clear. Um, if you believe in that kind of stuff. But like, I like I kind of am chalking this up to like, you know how, remember what, like in the 90s, like everyone was blaming everything on El Nino? Like everyone was blaming everything on El Nino. I'm gonna be blaming everything on Mercury being in retrograde. I mean, like you pick fights with people, you are moody. Um, you, they tell you not to be making any major decisions or purchases or taking any contracts or jobs and just because, because it's just bad. So yeah, tell me about the crazy things that you've been experiencing during this retrograde period. And apparently Mars is all, okay, I don't mean to get all like weird about this because I'm, that's not me. I just think it's really interesting that like Mars is also now coming to the picture with the like orbits, like Mercury and Earth and Mars is coming into the alignment or whatever and so now that means it's just amplifying mercury being in retrograde so i think that calls for a s'more so s'mores did you make these growing up as a kid like i that's something that you did as a scout right i was never a camper so i never really did a camping but like um we do it uh, traditionally my my family my kids and i we break out the s'mores first like the first thing after thanksgiving um go out sit down by the fire pit I'm not breaking out the fire pit right now. When we get the big jumbo marshmallows, do you use jumbo marshmallows? Do you know that there are unicorn marshmallows now and unicorn poop marshmallows? That's gross. Thank you. Um, so yes, and you're supposed to use Hershey's chocolate. I don't have any Hershey's chocolate bars. I have these random leftover chocolate bars from when I was visiting my mother in Lithuania. So we're gonna try them, um, and then you get your graham crackers. Um, and I've got just the generic honey graham crackers. Um, yeah, but like I was looking online and there's like, there's actually like a bake you can make. You can like bake s'mores with wine. It's like a red wine s'mores bake or something. And then on top of it, there's something called like a, a s'morgasm. I don't know. I don't know much about it, but like it's, that's another like dish or something. But like, um, they're also talking about all these different ways you can have s'mores. Like you can, instead, you can use like thin mint Girl Scout cookies instead of like Hershey's chocolate. Um, or you can use like bacon in them, or you can use like mint chocolate in them, or you can use saltine crackers instead of um, graham crackers, um, or caramel in it, or peanut butter. Like they they showed they showed like graham cracker, like Reese's peanut butter cup, marshmallow graham cracker. That I was like, what? That's like mind blowing because I'm the girl who eats the peanut butter right out of the jar. Okay, now here's another thing. You guys know that I was like wicked, like wicked wanted to die sick. Like I was like. I don't know how I'm gonna make it through the day sick, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, and so this is gonna be really painful me, for me to have a whole lot of alcohol tonight because I am just glad that I can, I couldn't even like drink Gatorade. I couldn't do anything, it was wretched. Um, so like I don't wanna like push it. So I'm just gonna have a little, I say that, I hope I will make sure that I only have a little people because I really cannot afford to be feeling like that again. That was really, really bad. Okay, so we're supposed to be tasting tonight what they suggest, which I think is really kind of odd, is to do a like um, a very sweet white wine, like a, a Riesling or a Canadian ice wine, um, Gewurztraminer, Ger, uh, that's another German sweet, uh, sweet whites, um, and port. Port wines are red. It's very sweet too. Um, so typically tawny ports are what I do because they're younger and they're fresher. Um, so that's what we're supposed to be trying with that and I was like thinking to myself I don't know why you would want to have more sweet wine with such a sweet dessert like I would I, to me I would rather have like a, a, a heavier red or a crisper white that had a little more acidity to it that would cut the sweet but mm, okay now how do you okay first of all how do you keep your marshmallows from going stale and how do you and then if you can keep them from going stale how do you keep them from sticking in the bag like this. So if you got a tip on that, let me know. Now here's the other thing about marshmallows that someone had told me that like, that it's like, a, it's not a wives tale, but I know people that swear that you can, you can like, if you have a sore throat, um, hey, thanks for the thumbs up. That, that if you have a sore throat, or like our kid has a sore throat, like the best thing to do is give them a marshmallow, like a big steak puff marshmallow. Um, and, because apparently the sugar in it coats the throat and makes like, if you have like a sick, like sore throat kid, it coats the throat, almost kind of like a honey, right? 
but and kids love it. So they tell you if your kid ever like has a really sore throat, instead of giving them a lozenge, give them a marshmallow. I've never done that. If you guys have done that before, let me know. Um, I did have a, I do have a friend, Katie. I don't know, Katie, if you're watching. She, when she was in college, she um, didn't do the s'mores, but she would like go down in the dorm cafeteria and she would make herself like Rice Krispie treats in a bowl. Like she would literally like add marshmallows, a pat of butter, and like Rice Krispies in a bowl, microwave it in the cafeteria, and off she went. So I thought that was pretty ingenious, but she would like, that would be like a meal for her. So, okay, so if you had to make your choice as to like what, what would make your s'mores a s'more yes. What would you, what would, what would it include? I'm really kind of digging the thought of the peanut butter cups, because I love peanut butter. I don't know what I think about mint, but I also think like, you know, I wonder if it's any good with saltines, because I really do like that sweet and sweet, sweet and savory, sweet and savory, sweet and savory combination. Anyways, um, so you tell me what, or if you, or if you do your s'mores differently, I, this is really bad. Look at how thick this chocolate is. This is not, this might be a fail because I don't have the appropriate Hershey's chocolate. I just got these really big bricks of European chocolate. So what are we doing? Do you want another piece of pizza? No, thank you. Okay. There they come. So you got your graham cracker, you got your piece of chocolate, and you put your marshmallow, just throw in the sink. And I'm going to the microwave. You know, microwave very. As, as you know from all the instructions. I usually put it in there for like 10 seconds or whatever, just and so the marshmallow gets a little poofy, like poofs up a little bit. And then um, take it out and then smash it on top. Done. Now you don't get this way, Woo! this way you don't get the like toasty, like, do you like your s'mores like, um, when you toast them like on a campfire or like, I know that like we would toast them on our, we had, we had a gas stove top and we would toast them on a gas stove top. Um, so do you like your s'mores burnt? Like some people like their marshmallows totally burnt. And other people are like, that's not their gig, right? They, they want them just so like, can't have any burn on them, but they've got to have the golden crust on them. Because you know that there's a way to toast a marshmallow. Like, and so it caves in, it goes concave. Like, like get a little more felt, and you're like, you, you gotta get the big ones. Like there's ones that are bigger than this, so like jumbo ones. There's a way to toast it so that the inside of it goes concave and you can use it as a shot glass and like do shots of like Baileys. Like, so you put your shot of Baileys in there instead of just like shooting it back, you could just like pop the whole thing in your mouth. I think that's pretty dang fantastic if I do say so myself. Okay, so now because my chocolate is so thick, it's not, it's not melty gooey, like, you know, because the Hershey's are a little thinner, right, than this. Oh, there was another one. They were saying, like, oh, you do bacon in your s'more, or you could do, like, um, cayenne pepper in your s'more. I don't know about that. Oh, okay. This thing got a little poofy. Okay, but then, remember, like, you would want them, and then, you know, and, like, do they just, do they sound so good, and sometimes, and then you get them in your mouth, and like, gosh, that's really sweet. Now, which part of the s'more do you like the best? Do you like the the graham cracker part, the chocolate part, or the marshmallow part? Like my kids, all they care about is marshmallow. Although it is a fat-free food, with nothing but pure sugar. We're just trying. Hello. Okay, we're trying. I have two wines, and like I said, I'm really gotta go careful tonight because I was so sick this week. I almost debated not having a wine tasting tonight because I was so brutally ill on Monday and Tuesday, Sunday night, Monday and Tuesday. But I'm taking one for the team. Because you are my people, and this is my last wine tasting here at the beach. Because we're packing up the truck next week and driving. Home. So, so here's to me and my s'more and my Riesling. I still have Riesling left over from last week's tasting. Remember, I had a huge bottle of Riesling. I had to condense it into two wine bottles because it was so huge. Okay, so Riesling, s'more. Hi, who are you going? That's tasty. I feel like I don't have enough chocolate in here. Ooh, maybe it's because it's dripping out all over the place. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Okay. 
That's literally all over me right now. It's on my hands. Oh, my face. That's what I pop out when you do these inside. Is that you get messy and you don't want your outside at least your kids can like mess up the grass, but I don't want them messing up my beige couch. I don't know about that. I gotta do that one again. That was the pork. The pork is too sweet for, for the s'mores. I can't even taste the pork. You want to be able to taste the pork. My favorite thing to have with pork, two things, cheese. Pork and cheese. Particularly like a blue cheese or a gorgonzola. My other favorite thing to have with pork is Captain, not Captain, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We had that in a wine tasting, one of these. We did cereals, cinnamon toast crunch, and ports. The best of all cereals. I don't know. I don't know about Papa's that. Wants to be next to me, okay? Stella with the cone of shame wants to be next to my daughter. My daughter thinks it's because my dog loves her, but it's more so because my dog probably wants to eat for dinner. So you guys ready for school? My kids go back to school on August 12th. That is so flipping soon. By the time I get to California, they will have like a matter of days before they got to go to their first day of school. I'm not ready, people. It's one thing to not be ready, and another to be not ready at a new school in a new state on the other side of the country. I don't even know where to buy their school supplies. I don't even know how to get their uniforms. I don't know what their school supplies are. Still waiting to complete the registration process on my son's school. Yeah, yeah. The white is better. I don't know how to explain why. It's got just enough sweet. Just there's a good balance here. The red, ta the port, the tawny port just didn't didn't do it for me. Okay, gotta be careful now here, people. Um. Okay, so I'm thinking that like. Bacon is always good. Have you ever had the bacon donuts? Okay. I just was telling people about how you used to make your own, like, Rice Krispie treats in a bowl in college. Um, yeah. I think I might need to make another s'more, but I'm going to try it with a different kind of chocolate. Uh, I think, I'm thinking... Somebody needs to check the wrapper. So like this Hershey's bars of chocolate that we use, or s'mores, is that a semi-sweet chocolate? It's not a milk chocolate. Um, it's not a milk chocolate. I think it's a semi-sweet, but it's definitely not a dark chocolate either. I have to kind of feel like there's less sugar in it. So this is another bar of chocolate that I got from Lithuania, my mom's. Do you eat all your fruit? Awesome. This is a thinner chocolate. This might work better. It's gonna be interesting. Um, I can't the it's, it is dark chocolate with cinnamon, vanilla, and cayenne pepper. This might be really good. This might be really, really bad. And the graham crackers need to be like they can't you get can't have them all soggy. You can't have soggy graham crackers. That that's that's bad too. That's bad s'mores etiquette. All right, so let's try this one again. So people are gonna put this in the microwave for like 10 seconds. Cause I don't have to worry about melting the chocolate so much. So it's a thinner, thinner version. So yeah, I'm looking out at my ocean, looking at my kids, looking around me and trying to take mental pictures of it all because I'm gonna miss it a lot. And I miss you guys a lot. I hope that you follow my adventures. Um, oh, that's a big mark call when I go to California. And I, I'm really hoping that I'm gonna make more friends in California quickly and have find more mom friends like you guys that like to get crazy with me and messy and drink wine on Friday nights. And I don't know, I gotta find some friends. You guys know anybody out there? 
I'm gonna hook a girl up with some friends. I gotta find some people. Um, yeah, I'm kind of scared about that. But you know, I was talking with another friend and she was just saying, you know what, like you're gonna meet friends so fast because like when your kids go to school, boom, you like automatically have a ton of friends. Yeah, like I wanna have, fr I wanna have friends like you. But I can like be messy with. Eat s'mores and Taco Bell and drink wine on Friday night. So pray for me for that. And if you know anybody in California, anywhere in California, like send them over to Hot Mess Mama's website, whether that be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Send them over because I want to know them. I want to meet them, and I want to get to know some get some, get to know some peeps in Cali. Do they say Cal anymore? I don't say peeps anymore, unless it's Easter. It's Marshall. What if we could use peeps in here? Peeps s'mores. That's a new one. Okay, let's see how this tastes. Do you see this like booming out of my? This is why. Why would someone invent this for children to eat? Why, Katie? Why? So, awesome. is it awesome? Mmm. Maybe they have all these new flavors of peeps now. Like, they're not just regular peeps. I can get like pea lime peeps and mint okay, peeps. And... Yeah, you want some more? Sit down, bring me your plate. I just served my kids a nutritional dinner of lettuce with some ranch dressing and some pizza. I'm going to eat the rest of my water. Okay, here you go. And some more. I'm going to eat the... She is really hungry, Mama. Seriously? Yeah. It's so messy. I haven't had dinner yet. I'm probably making myself sick just by eating this. Like, I've been able to eat, like, wheat things and drink Gatorade. So I'm gonna go on the road next week. She's all done. And I was thinking about like doing broadcasts from the road, or like saying, "Hey, tomorrow I'm gonna be driving through more, more. Arkansas. What mom out there knows somebody in Arkansas? Mom, can Hook me up with her, or or like, hey, I'm gonna be driving through St. Louis. What's a good place for me to go?" With my kids. You guys could chime in and say, Oh yes, there's this great playground near the arch. Or hey no. My sister's cousin's aunt's nephew lives in Tulsa and she suggests that you do this, that, and the other thing. Well, there's a giant pencil in I don't know. New Mexico. Go see that, right? So I, I would I think I might do that next week. I might like Say, hey, these are the stops where we're going to be today. Hopefully. Because, you know, we're just, we still don't even have a map planned out for this thing. These are where we think we're going to be today. What do you guys know about these areas? What do I need to see? Who do you know that's out here? Mom, I want this more. She wants this more, people. You don't just want chocolate. You want marshmallow? Yeah. Okay. You have a sore throat? Because apparently. But I want chocolate now. Yeah. Oh, can I? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so. That and um, any other like road trip tricks that you guys have, like and they're gonna have the tablets, and I've got them some special things that will be pulling out along the way. But what other stuff do you do on your long road trips, like road trip games that maybe don't necessarily need anything? But like, remember like Slug Bug? Am I the only one that calls it Slug Bug? Slug Bug and like the license plate game. Mom, Keep in mind, my kids are four and seven. Yes, I understand you want a full s'more. Um, so I understand, you know realize I don't want to do games that require like equipment like I just want to be able to say okay let's play the cow game you guys played with this cow game like someone online said something about playing this cow game and I looked it up and it actually looks kind of fun hey Stacy but like games that like a four-year-old and a seven-year-old can do right like maybe even if it's like bingo in the car or something like that or I don't know or like because I'm bringing my dog with us too so like I don't want to be having anything like crayons or small moving parts because my dog will just eat them so even snacks are gonna be a challenge because if my kids have snacks, the dog's gonna eat them right out of their hands. So I plan on big snacks, plan on a lot of candy, plan on a lot of tablet, movies. I've got some surprises along the way. We'll be pulling them out. But what else? I mean, but like I don't have the map out and I don't have like the stops planned because we really are just winging it and we gotta get there fast and furious because my husband can't take a whole lot of time off of work and we need to, yeah, yeah, can okay, you go sit down and I'll go get it to you. Go drink your, your juice and I'll get you some. Um, so, 
Like I don't, we're, like I wish that I could take more time on. Have you guys ever drawn, driven across country? And like, I wish that I could have taken like a week or 10 days to drive across country and then like really stop and see this stuff because how often do you get a chance to drive across the country? What a great like family adventure that would be, right? So it's kind of hard to make an adventure when like, your husband has a deadline as to when he needs to be back at work. So like if he had it his way, we would drive straight through. Like him and I would take naps. I'm like, you do know your kids are going to have to stop to pee a lot. And your dog is going to have to stop a lot. Um, so I don't know how much sightseeing we're going to be able to do. So if we do, it's going to have to be something I can do in and out fast. The kids would enjoy, um, relatively cheap, that kind of thing. So if you guys have ever done the trip and have things to suggest around the route, or you know people, like, we're going to do this. Do you guys have any suggestions on how I can do this? Like to like let you know where I am on the map during the week and like what I'm doing throughout the week and getting your suggestions and like maybe you hooking me up with people along the route. I don't know. I'm up for it. There will be a Friday night wine tasting, hopefully. Unless my husband has me in the car driving, which is a real possibility. I don't even know what time zone I'm going to be in. So this should be good. But I think next Friday we might be making our way. We're thinking about driving all the way up to Chicago first, saying goodbye to some family, and then south and over, which I think is ridiculous because that adds like a gazillion hours to our already tight schedule. But it's family, and you got to do that, right? So let me know your thoughts on that, and I will tell you what my thoughts are on this wine tasting. It's imperative with a s'more that you have fresh graham crackers, that you have the thin chocolate, like like a Hershey's chocolate. This is my color okay? stickers. And that you have the big marshmallows. You can do them in the microwave, but they are even better when they're toasted, but like, you know, in a pinch, you can do it this way. I did like the second rendition one that had this kind of like spicy chocolate. It's dark chocolate with cinnamon, vanilla, and cayenne pepper. It don't really taste a whole lot of cayenne pepper, but it was good. But I think it might've just been the width of the chocolate. So thinner chocolate, fresh graham crackers, fresh big marshmallows. You can pop them in the microwave, do your thing, and go with the white Riesling versus the tawny port, ruby port. I would try it with some reds too. They, they, no one suggested reds. Some people did also suggest like champagnes, but I think that's kind of wiggy. Um, but I, if you it, start with a sweet white, like a Riesling or a Gritz or a nice wine or something like that. Um, Maybe even a Chardonnay might go well, but I would. I, but skip the port. Save your money. Save your ounces. Skip the port. But I challenge any one of you to try like a red, like maybe a Pinot Noir. Merlot's I think might be too heavy, but like a Pinot Noir or a Shiraz maybe. I don't know. You tell me. All right. Love you guys very much. Have a fabulous weekend. It's my last weekend here. And for those of you that are from North Carolina that know me, what do I need to do on my last weekend here before we go? All right. Love you much. Happy Friday, mamas. Be well. S'more on. Get toasty.